So, back to PRI 2018. We are here, Pro Charger booth with Brandon from ProLine. This guy tunes. Sydney Frigo, a, a great friend of mine from Brazil. But not just that, he's like the co-tuner of this car, tuned by Steve Petty, driven by Eric, owner of ProLine. And we have some questions. So, Brandon, this is the first door slammer Pro Charger that ProLine does. Tell us a little bit of like how successful you guys being pretty much racing a single time, right? Yeah. I mean, we, we kind of put it all together as something new to us, new to ProLine and Pro Charger. Something new to us, new to Pro Charger. We kind of got together with Pro Charger earlier this year, trying to work on putting a package like this together just to really show that this combination could be competitive. So we went out testing with it uh, once before the last race we took it out. And we saw, saw a lot of promise in testing and just kind of figuring out what this combination likes, what it wants, and just seeing what we think can make it work. So we went out to the first race with it and did a lot better. Than, I mean, you always show up and want to do well and want to be competitive and want to have a hot rod, but it, it actually went a lot better than we expected. But um, I was there, so like I can say like it was pretty cool. <laughs> it, was, it was really it was. cool to see like you guys qualify on top of the field yeah. and you guys went all the way to the final. Yeah, I mean, that, that was amazing. Yeah, you can't really ask for much better for the first first outing with this combination. And not just that, broke the record for a Pro Charger Dark Slammer, right? So like 367, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, 367. And it's and it shows it still has potential to do to go faster. I mean, it was the first real race with it and just kind of learning as we were going and each run we would learn something new and just kind of keep heading in the right direction and they kept responding every time we would make changes for it. So, I mean, we're excited to see what this thing can do moving forward and what else is there to be had. That's awesome. So, like, let me go a little bit further. Uh -huh. After you guys race, you guys brought that car to Fuel Tech, right? right? And you guys put it on the Dyna yeah. and you drove it. Oh, the Dyna, no, that's a Dyna, but you, you <laughs> drove it. So, like, tell a little, bit, a, a little bit about that, like driving a Pro Mod on the Dyna, a loud Pro Mod on the dyno and like how much power it made, like what you guys felt about that, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, we, we took it on the dyno at Fuel Tech and, it, and just to kind of see where we were at as a baseline. And we feel like, um, obviously by the numbers it ran, it clearly makes a lot of horsepower, <laughs> makes really good power and we put it on a dyno and it showed that. And I feel like with that dyno and what we did, it's definitely potential to, to learn more and make more power and to go back on a dyno and try different things and maybe different just stuff with the tune-up, different stuff with the blower, just the dyno definitely seems like we can definitely learn a lot on how to make this combination even better than what it is now and just to keep improving on everything. So the Fuel Tech dyno definitely was a pretty awesome experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really cool. I would like to thank you and thank you and thank you ProLine for this amazing build that you guys done. Put all together, make this thing run so quick, so fast and shorter a short amount of time and you're gonna see you more here pre-arrive. See you there. <laughs>